The exponential function f is defined by f of x equals a times b to the x, where a and b are positive constants. The table right there gives the values of f of x at selected values of x, which of the following statements are true. So they want to talk about exponential growth. They want to talk about exponential decay, blah, 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 blah. Uh, since everything here is positive, right, exponential growth looks like this if you want to graph it out. Exponential decay would look like this if you wanted to graph it out. So like, let's say that you had zero clue what you were doing. At the very least, you have a 50-50 shot if you were to notice that, hey, uh, these numbers are getting smaller, which means it would be exponential decay. Now, what we're doing is, yeah, these numbers are getting smaller. And it looks like what we're doing to get from 10 to 7.5 is you multiply by uh, three quarters. And I'm assuming that's multiplying by three quarters again. I don't know. The math is kind of wonky, but that's going to happen again. That's going to happen again. That's what you do when you have an exponential function. Or no, it's an exponential function. As long as these guys go up by the same number, that's equal length input values, uh, intervals, uh, these guys multiply by the same number. So we are exponential decay because we're multiplying by three quarters. Now, what that gives us is a B. See, whatever you're multiplying over here is basically my B, which is pretty much my base. A just changes the number, like makes it, you know, like if I were to make A 4, this would become 40. And then this would still, you know, that would be 30. And then that would still go multiply by one third or three quarters to move my way down. So B, in this case, is three quarters. So I know, again, this is exponential decay, which gets rid of U and gets rid of U. Now, why? A is positive. Well, we know A is positive because it says here that A is positive. So that's kind of a useless thing. But in this case, B is not greater than 1. A B greater than 1 would represent exponential growth, which is not what we have. So C is just a false statement to begin with. B is true because my B is three quarters, and by definition, exponential decay has a B in between zero and one, not including any of them. Okay, so A is going to be my guy. So by definition, again, you know, A is whatever it is, it's got to be positive. But if B is greater than one, you're looking at exponential growth. And if B is in between zero and one, you're looking at exponential decay. Like I said, this guy right here is just a false statement, just like D would be a false statement because, you know, if it's between zero and one, it's not exponential growth. So you're just a bunch of lies, just a bunch of lies. And we don't like lies, do we? We don't. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.